Hey guys, PR is at home today. We are gonna be starting our month of May. I know it's April 30th, but we're starting this one day early, okay? And so our focus for today is uh, gonna be a pistol, okay? And so that's the that's a primary focus for our PRs at home progression uh, for the month of May. So with this cycle, what we're gonna be focusing on is not just doing pistols, but also working on some single leg squatting patterns so that way we can work on developing uh, a good recruitment system through the hips and legs, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off, basically every minute on the minute, we're gonna rotate through these stations. We're gonna go four to six Cossack squat plus a curtsy squat. Now it's a combination that's gonna look like this. We're gonna go to our Cossack squat, try to keep both feet flat to the ground, go as low as we can, as long as the ankle and knee will allow, and hip will allow you to get low. We find ourselves holding, let's work on staying up tall, okay? So that's our classic squat. Then we're gonna jump off, step back to our curtsy squat, okay? And we're gonna recycle through that. So this is gonna be four to six reps on this side, and then we'll do another four to six reps on the other side. So that's our first movement. Our second movement is gonna be an alternating leg via. Now, a lot of times when we think about a pistol, can we hold that leg up? Comes to a lot of core strength. So what we're gonna focus on is going from that single leg up reaching for our ankle. 16 to 20 reps within that minute. And then our final movement to progress to our pistol is gonna be a squat, a tempo squat. Now, what we wanna focus on here is controlling ourselves with a five to an eight second count, down and up. Now, what we wanna do is progress from our squat stance to that full range of motion, and then can we come in a little closer with our feet? Same slow tempo, going a little faster now, but I want you guys thinking about one, two, three, four, five, until we can get our feet close together and use that same full range of motion. Now, if we don't have the ankle mobility or lose some of the balance in that bottom position, what we can do is hold on to something just to kind of help as a counterweight. Now, if we feel really, really comfortable with that, let's take it to our pistol with a slow descending position, full control all the way down and up. So that is gonna be our EMOM, essentially, every minute on the minute for three rounds. Then we have an eight minute AMRAP. Now, for this AMRAP, we've got, we're gonna start it off with 30 mountain climbers. So we're starting down in the prone position, top of push-up, driving that knee up, the opposite leg stays straight, and we're just gonna isolate or rock back and forth between for 30 reps, so 15 on each leg. Then we're gonna go into eight swings, six right arm carries, lunges, eight swings, six left arm or left side carries, lunges. So what that's gonna be, the lunges are gonna vary depending on what equipment you have available. If you have a sandbag, we're gonna go to a unilateral lunge. On the right side, do our swings, and then we'll take it back to our left side. If you are working with a dumbbell, we're gonna go with a single arm, Walk and lunge, front rack, walk and lunge. To our swings, back into our other side, walking lunge. Completing as many rounds as you can, eight minutes. Have fun guys.